Live and direct on Fight TV, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag Noah under slash GHC, get on that hashtag. Give us your thoughts. The main event, right here, right now. Keiji Muto defending his belt against Kaito Kiyomiya. This goes back to last year when Kiyomiya broke out as the new hope. Over two shows in May 2020 and stopped René Dupre in the main event, culminating. He realized he was one step closer to something big in his career. He teamed up with Go Shiozaki in a special tag match against Marufuji and Muto. Marufuji pinned Shiozaki after one of his textbook Torao knees. Kiyomiya came on the mic after saying his dream was to wrestle Muto. Muto said, do you really want to go with an old ma man like me? And he actually showed a lot of respect for the young Noah Ace, saying if the most test negative again for COVID, then he'd grant him a singles match. He even put his hand out first to shake Kitamiya, sorry, Kiyomiya. Muto beat him in August. Ruthless leg attacks and shining wizards, of course. So Kiyomiya waited until the Nippon Budokan show last month to give a bold and immediate challenge to Muto, who only just snatched it from Shiozaki. Muto didn't even answer in the ring that day on the microphone. Uh, but the match got announced just a few days later. These two champions come from very different eras. The late 80s for Muto and the late 10s for Kiyomiya. Let's remember that Muto was already a multiple IWGP heavyweight champion along with a slew of other belts when Kiyomiya just came kicking and screaming into this world. Muto has stopped Kiyomiya in their one and only singles match. Another factor that's got to play on the mind of the young challenger here today, it's been six months and Muto said he's really interested to see how Kiyomiya has evolved and changed since then. Here comes the living legend, the 34th generation GHC heavyweight champion. He'll be going up against the youngest GHC heavyweight champion of all time, the 24-year-old supernova, Kaito Kiyomiya. There he is, focused. The biggest challenge of his career is coming up. Kiyomiya says the first time they faced was like a clash of souls. And he actually said he really enjoyed that match, the, the groundwork and Muto's counters. He said he learned a lot. Keiji Muto, 58 years of age, from the Yamanashi Prefecture in Japan. 36 years as a professional wrestler. A massive experience difference here today. The 34th generation heavyweight champion puts the GHC belt on the line. The only man to hold top titles in All Japan, New Japan, and Noah since breaking Go Shiozaki's reign at Noah's return to the Budokan on February 12th this year. Won his first major championship title in 1992, about three years before Kiyomiya was born. Muto is a four-time IWGP heavyweight champion, three-time triple crown champion, NWA world heavyweight belt he has held the G1 Climax winner and founder of Wrestle 1 and Wrestle 1 champion but this man the future of Noah the supernova Kaito Kiyomiya 24 years of age five years experience so that's a whopping 31 years difference in pro wrestling experience between these two men Kiyomiya held the GHC Tag Team Championship with Go Shiozaki back in 2018. Uh, actually, 2018 was a huge year for him, winning the GHC belt on his second shot, rising to the occasion and raising Noah up a notch to the world. Defended against Sugiura twice, Kitamiya, Marufuji, Nakajima and Keno twice. Hugely inspired by Mitsuhara Misawa is Kaito. Yeah. The bell goes, the crowd responds with a round of applause. Keiji Muto, the champion, rocked the pro wrestling world to its foundations when he defeated Go Shiozaki at the Nippon Budokan.
And the very next day, he signed a two-year contract with Noah. Now he's 58 years old. That two-year contract will take him up to 60 years of age. Kiyomiya, of course, only 24. He's very much the present and future of pro wrestling Noah. He's held this GHE Heavyweight Championship once before for 384 days from 2018 to 2020. And today, he's out there to try and take down the living legend and to become a two-time GHE Heavyweight Champion. It will be absolutely huge for Kiyomiya if he snatches it back here today in Fukuoka. He's repeated many times he believes that truly he's the only person in pro wrestling Noah who can defeat Keiji Muto. He feels a sense of duty to try and prize away this all-important GHC heavyweight title from the legend Muto and to capture it as a true Noah-born wrestler. Here he is taking the back of the champion. He's got one hook in, but look at that. Muto has his foot cranking down. See how his elbow is in the shin there? Just digging in on the left side. Oh, twisting it up early here. No grimace on the face of Kiyomiya. Slams down onto the back of the youngster, Keiji Muto. At the press conference, Keiji Muto spoke about Fukuoka having a special symbolism for him, a special connection to this city. In 1999, he defended the IWGP title against Genichiro Tenryu in a bout that was voted the match of the year by Nikon Sports, Tokyo Sports. And he's also wrestled the great Antonio Inoki and Hulk Hogan in Fukuoka. <laughs> Fukuoka is such an amazing place, Mark. Very far away from Tokyo. The people are somewhat different, very friendly. Great atmosphere down there, and they love their pro wrestling. What an encounter for them to witness today. Now these ground exchanges are probably the place where we're going to see most of Kiyomiya's evolution since they last faced each other six months ago. This is the area that he's been working on the most. He's even trained with Kazushi Sakuraba in recent weeks in order to improve his grappling skills. That's what he anticipates being the leading offense from Keiji Muto. This, of course, is Keiji Muto's first defense of the GHE heavyweight title, but it has changed hands before in consecutive title contests. Back in 2014, Takeshi Morishima defeated Kenta and then lost it in his very first defense against Yuji Nagata. That's something that even Keiji Muto will be aware of today. Now Muto pinned. Daiki Inaba and the mighty Yoshiki Inamura in the tag team matches. He and Kiyomiya have faced each other in. Muto holds that all important direct win over the challenger Kiyomiya here today, forcing him to tap out from one of his vicious figure four leg locks on that occasion. Can Kiyomiya avenge his loss? Is Muto about to drop the GHC heavyweight belt that he's only just won? Lightning quick roll through for Muto. Straight on the leg. Wise to the leg attacks, Kiyomiya immediately goes over for the rope break. You do wonder whether Muto has shown everything that he possesses in his power in the recent weeks in multi-man tag matches. For sure, he's left something in reserve, especially for today. That's the task that's in front of Kiyomiya. Trying to unlock the defense of the great Keiji Muto. Try to prize away that most coveted title in professional wrestling. Sits proudly on the shoulders of Keiji Muto. Watch how Muto just baited Kiyomiya in there. Just, just toying with him for a moment. Allowing him something, giving him something. Letting him feel he's in control for a moment. Rolls him over. Kiyomiya takes the top position. Takes just side control now. Just as we thought, it's boiling down to the intricacies of the ground game here. The Kesa Gatame. Kiyomiya gets rolled over by Muto, but he's still on him. 
Got a crank up there, but the strength of Muto's neck was likely to cause him any trouble. Muto sends him across, not at all. Staying on him, Kaito Kiyomiya. Well judged out attack from Kiyomiya. Keeps the tension on the side headlock. Muto has a wrist control now. Pops his head out. Oh, his stomach spins round with a heel kick. Pulls him over. Into the Kesagatami of his own. This is a bad spot for Kiyomiya. If he has the back position or the mount or side, he can do something with it. But this spot here is all Keiji Muto. This is Muto controlling the contest, taking it where he wants to. Oh. Sends him down. Running knee. Rise. Great knee. Kiyomiya drops with the elbow. Stays on him. Takes the back. The short choke. Kiyomiya was looking to quicken the pace initially then. Now uh, he's starting to try and wind down the champion. To grind him. Cranking up with that S grip. Kaito Kiyomiya. He's going to have to watch out here. The champion will take his back. Muto with the counter. Counter of his own, Kiyomiya. Rolls through, retains the head control. Head and arm control. Working very well for him here today. We keep that head control, the bo body usually follows. Very well balanced so far on the ground. Definitely showing an improvement in the finer points of his techniques. Kiyomiya, look at this. Dominant work here. Yeah, he's made tremendous strides since their last meeting, August 2020. You would never know there's a 31 years difference in experience, ring experience. That's not age. Experience in the ring. You never know that here right now. Just that, looking at this. That's a testament to the effort so far from the challenger, Kaito Kiyomiya. There's some young men there who hope to follow in his shoes one day in the future. And now it's all about the supernova against the living legend. Sweat dropping from the referee. That's how tense things are in there. Kiyomiya looking for the attack. Huge hip toss from the champion. Muto looks for the elbow drop. Gain back to that neck control, Kaito Kiyomiya. What a challenge she's putting up here today. What we're seeing today, something new is that Kiyomiya is anticipating some of the attacks from Muto and he's able to evade them. Hops over to the other side. Putting more pressure on that strangle. Kiyomiya still on top. Still in control. Get up onto his knees. Look for the suplex for Kiyomiya counted. Unrelenting the young man. He's on top of everything here today. Kiyomiya still cranking that neck round. Trying to cinch the choke in. Draining the life force away from the champion, the living legend, Keiji Muto. Hey. To the corner now. Hey. Muto, rope break. Muto forces the rope break. Slams him in with a shoulder charge. 
Big right hand from Muto. Big chops. Oh! Kiwia blocks the Shining Wizard. Straight into side control like Kezakatami. Basic scarf hold. Yoshiki Inamura in the background there with a round of applause of his own, loving what he's seeing from Kiyomiya. Shoulders are down. Just for a moment. Kiyomiya still on top of it. Still in control, still in the driver's seat. Still looking for gold. This is his dream match. This is a career-changing moment for Kaito Kiyomiya. If he can topple the giant, if he can take this GHC heavyweight championship belt in Fukuoka here today, he will make history and cement his name among some of the greats at such an early age. He has to take down a legend to become a legend. He's going up against one of the biggest stars of all time. The man who made fans all around the world fall in love with Japanese wrestling. It's the power from Muto. Leapfrog from Kimia. Back in the legs. Eiji Muto. Kiyomiya has been on the wrong end of these leg attacks on more than one occasion. That's always the favorite strategy from Muto. Looking to go to work now on Kiyomiya's legs. Kiyomiya tries to come to the figure four. He's got a front headlock. Everything playing out so much more differently this time in the ground game between these two men. Kiyomi answering all the questions that Muto's throwing at him. This one has the veins, the eyes of Muto popping out. This one's tight, it's under the chin mark. Very lucky he was close to the ropes. Clash of souls, a battle of heart, a test of will. <laughs> Kaito Kiyomiya giving absolutely everything he's got in this title challenge here today, the main event. Great Voyage 2021 in Fukuoka, following up from the show in Yokohama last week. Oh! DDT from the Emerald New Star. Powerful DTT. But only a one count. Muto is hurting now. These ground exchanges. Very, very dominant from the challenger, Kiyomiya, today. That's right, Stuart. He seems to have all the offense on the ground, well scouted from Muto. I'm wondering if some of that training with Sakuraba has rubbed off. There's nobody better to train with in that department in anticipation for this contest. Muto, Muto trying to counter the front headlock there. The sweat just pouring from the forehead of the champion like a tap. Oh, he gets on it this time. Onto the ropes. Eiji Muto. Spinning neck breaker. Is he okay? Well controlled there from the champion. Back on his feet. Double foot stop. There's the belt in all its glory. Shining in the background, up for grabs. If Kiyomiya pull off an upset here today. Elevator roll, looking for the double wrist lock. The pressure on that shoulder. Kiyomiya should be able to defend it if he's been training with Sakuraba. Trying to edge over to the ropes. 15 minutes into this main event here today. Hashtag no under slash GHC. Get yourselves out 
in the social media world and tell us what you think. Smith will force his chest down onto the challenger for added pressure. Yes, it will break. A lot of prolonged pressure on that shoulder from the Kimura by Keiji Muto. Snap may take over. Watch out. Flashing elbow. So quick. Vintage Keiji Muto. So powerful. Back on that double wrist lock. Oh, steps over this time. That is incredibly painful. Slicing through the bicep of Kiyomiya. Unforgiving and unrelenting from the champion. Trying to escape now, he cranks it a little bit harder, Keiji Muto. The champion asserting his dominance, his strength, his skill and his experience all coming together in the Noah ring here today. The crowd are rooting oh! for the Emblem Star, but straight out by he's got the Juji Gatame managing to get over to the ropes. He gets the break. Aito Kiyomiya not letting go. The champion snapped that on, that Yuji Gatame. Just silenced the crowd. They were rooting behind the supernova. In a lot of pain, the challenger Kiyomiya now back on his feet is the champion. Clutching his left arm. Fires back with the drop kick, but it doesn't move Muto. Straight into the body, Keiji Muto. Some language he picked up there from his excursions to America in the late 80s. Sets him on the top rope. Joins him from the second rope. What's the champion coming up with here? Frankensteiner from the top. The crowd with a round of applause showing their appreciation. Is he going to finish it here? No. But he stays on that arm. He's got the extension. Kiyomiya nowhere near the rope escape this time. He'll break it if he needs to, to retain this title. Kiyomiya has to go through the pain barrier here in his quest to become the new GHG Heavyweight Champion. He's got it locked up. He's got his knees together. It's clamped in tight. Still defending. Kiyomiya. He's rotating his hips, he's edging closer to the ropes. Has to get there. Kiyomiya just getting into the rope escape there. Eiji Mito forced to let go. Waited until the very last second before he gave up the hold. All that sign, his experience, a star for five decades. Eiji Mito realizes he has to produce Something a little bit out of the ordinary, something a little bit extra today, something that the challenger has not seen before in order to stop him in his tracks. Into the corner. Oh, he replies! Back comes Kimia. This time he sent him down. He's had not too much luck with that. The size and steadfast. Big elbow smash floors the champion. Keiji Muto down. Resolve coming out of Kiyomiya. Popping in elbow after elbow. Sends the champion back. Reversal. Stops him before he slams him into corner. Diving elbow smash from the challenger. And the champion is down. Here he goes. Kaito Kiyomiya. Digging deep. Supernova's getting fired up again. Fukuoka in the main event for this GHG Heavyweight Championship. 
from the heavens. A drop kick, sending Mutor down. He's out. Eiji Mutor, his first title defense of this GHC Heavyweight Championship. And he's got his hands full. Takes the back. Reaching German suplex. Kiyomi are looking fantastic today. In all areas of his game. Uppercuts to the champion. And across the ring. Oh! Anticipated by the champion. The experience coming out there. Heavy landing for Kiyomiya. Kiyomiya was looking to time that perfectly. But ended up slamming down to the canvas on his own. Onto the ramp. Oh, he's got a hold of the leg. Kiyomiya had to resort to a headbutt to avoid the shining wizard from the outside to the inside. Kiyomiya walks away momentarily. Looks like he's just trying to get a breather, trying to gather his thoughts. Sum it up. The warrior from within and produces next attack on the champion. Takes him down over the top rope. Two. Somersault plancher into the ring from the challenger. He's prepared to do whatever it takes to capture that title today. Kaito Kiyomiya has a gas tank forever. What he might lack in experience and strength, he more than makes up for in resolve and sheer determination. Shaping up for a tiger suplex, but Muto is fighting back. Back in that back, he gets out of it, Muto. Off the ropes, attacking from behind with the head, but flying headbutt from Kiyomiya. And another one. Third. And the champion's down. Three headbutts from Kiyomiya. That third one flew from the other side of the ring at a rate of knots. Launching his next attack now, Kaito Kiyomiya, the challenger. He wants this belt more than anything. A fourth, this time from the top. Headbutt right on the button. Can he do it? Downward pressure, but perhaps a sign of fatigue from Kiyomiya. He didn't hook the legs. So very close. KG Mato still fly on his back. Looks to get up now, but first to his feet is the challenger. It's been the youth, the vigor. It's been spurred on by this crowd. Here he goes again. Resisting it with everything he's got, the champion. Sinks on the sleeper. Oh, isolates the arm now, goes on to the face lock. Face around there, the pressure on the neck. Another attempt at cranking that round. Just digging in his wrist, digging in his bones across the face of Muto. Got a be painful position for the champion. Not giving up, that's for sure. 
25 minutes into this main event here, Great Voyage 2021 in Fukuoka. You are witnessing history play out. One of the all-time greats going up against the present and the future of pro wrestling, Noah, in Kaito Kiyomiya. What's he got in mind from this position? It's underneath the champion. There it is, Emerald Flosion. Slams him down, two. So, so close, yet so far, Keiji Muto showing why he is a multiple champion. Still active, still showing the world what he's made of. Still defending his title here today. Kiyomi out looking for the King's Road. Into the bridge. The high angle bridging tight the suplex. That's the closest he's come so far to winning this one. Watch out for the leg attacks. A man possessed is the challenger, Kiyomiya. It's the Frankenstein now, that's how we won oh, the title. No. Drops into the arm again. Oh, Extending no, no, no. it out. Oh, can tell me is on. Kill me, I'm not about to give up. Keiji Muto, not about to let that go, let him escape. Let his belt slip from his fingers. Stays on the left arm of Kiyomiya. A good work for Kiyomiya, he manages to get round there. Almost to the ropes. Can he reach it? He's still a fraction away. Not quite. He does now. He's still hanging on to it, the referee trying to break it up. Just inflicting a little bit more pain on the end of that rope break. That's all that experience from the champion. He'll do it on his terms. And in his time, he's the man to beat as the GHG heavyweight champion. For all the titles he's held in his illustrious career, this is the most coveted of them all. Pro wrestling knowers, top crown. The crowd here in Fukuoka again behind them. Tension rising, expectations. Shining wizard. What a motherfucker. Those shining wizards taking their toll on the legs of Kiyomiya. Screaming in pain this time from that one. Can the champion string together these leg attacks? Keiji Muto poised for his next attack, his next move. And then here it goes. Dragon Screw followed by the Shining Wizard. Textbook Muto here today. Somehow, Kiyomiya is still in this. Somehow he's got some fight left in him. A huge heart does this 24 year old have shining wizard from the champion he sized keep Kiyomiya up looking to dispatch him the toughest match of Kaito Kiyomiya's career playing out before our very eyes to pile on the pressure. <laughs> Keiji Muto, still on the attack, still defending his belt. Shining Wizard again to the face of Kaito Kiyomiya. Keiji Muto still attacking, still with the aggression that he shows when he took the belt himself. Kiyomiya is screaming in agony. How much more of this can he take? How big is his heart? 
How much does he want this? 30 minutes into this bout. Mato, the champion, still on his feet. Holding his damage arm. The shining wizard again from KG Mato. Can he get the pin this time? Can he keep a hold of his belt? Mito was already hitting his signature pose throughout that count. Very casual cover from the champion. Up to the second rope. Everything coming out the toolbox today from the champion. Pinpoint attack. Flying in with that drop kick from the ropes. There's a strategy behind every movement of Keiji Muto. Methodical, unwavering. Kiyomiya's eyes rolling in the back of his head, but he's still in the game somehow. Dragon screw. Dragon screw sending him over. Reeling in pain, holding on to his knee. And another. The Shining Wizards listening here today. Gasps from the crowd as Kiyomiya kicks out again. The Bruce Log rolls him over. That elevator roll onto the armbar. Again, into the straight armbar from the top. Keiji Muto hasn't been able to finish it from here so far. Kiyomiya's defense and his ability to take pain and punishment in order to win this belt he so, so wants for his career. The referee stops it! Keiji Muto retains his title, retains the GHC Heavyweight Championship, stopping Kaito Kiyomiya in his tracks. Kiyomiya has submitted. That Uchi Katami, that accumulation of damage to our left arm has decided this one. Kiyomiya was anticipating only leg attacks. It was a recurring theme that the champion went after the arm of the challenger, Kiyomiya. Repeated Uchi Katami, repeated arm bars has yielded that submission. And it's a successful first title defense for Keiji Muto. The GHE heavyweight crown remains with a living legend here in Fukuoka. A successful first title defense from the living legend, Keiji Muto. We did see a hugely improved Kaito Kiyomiya coming out today and throw everything he had at the champion. But in the end, that 31 years of ring experience difference is what made the day. The belt stays with Muto. The belt stays around his waist. It stays in his possession. And he will fly back up to Tokyo with it. Following this main event here today. <laughs> 32 minutes and 7 seconds into the match. In this main event here at Great Voyage 2021 in Fukuoka, Keiji Muto retains and becomes the reigning champion of the coveted GHC Heavyweight Championship. But who is this coming in behind him with a face of determination? Muto does not know he's already in the ring behind him. Now he does. He's been sized up by Masakitamiya. Hongo's danger man. And a dangerous man. Absolutely destroyed Takashi Sugiura last week in the Tag Team Championship. Huge attack on the champion. How about that for a statement? Taking advantage of the champion with his back turned, already tired after over half an hour of championship wrestling. Masakita Mia comes in and tells the world he wants that belt.
he sent a clear message here to the champion. When you hold that GHG heavyweight crown, there's a big target on your back. Meiji Muto saw that the Nippon Budokan. And he successfully defeated the first challenger, Kiyomiya. Already, there's the next man up, the new man, Masakitamiya, one half of the tag team champions. He's gone after the champion. With a kiss to the belt, the champion, Keiji Muto, leaves the ring and heads out victorious. The belt staying with him here today. We saw one belt exchange hands, the GHC Junior Heavyweight Championship going to Atsushi Kotoge, but the spotlight is on this man, Keiji Muto, the GHC Heavyweight Champion of the World. You're listening to Stuart Fulton. And Mark Pickering. We hope you enjoyed the show. Sayonara. Sayonara. プロレス動画配信サービス。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プロレスリングノア。プ